Hey guys, this is Disney Cars Toy Club and today we're going to be opening our very first set of Monster High dolls. And this is the Ghoul's Night Out playset. Okay, the first doll that I grabbed out of the package is Ghoulia Yelps and she is a daughter of the zombies. And these dolls are definitely not like the Barbie dolls or Elsa and Anna Frozen dolls that I've been using. And here's a closer look at Gulia. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello. <laughs> she has very cool blue hair. She has a big, messy ponytail. She has on some red glasses and a red headband. And she is super articulated. And it looks like all of the dolls are like this, but they are very bendy. And I'm not sure why, but their arms actually come apart at the joints. So they're very bendy. Their wrists bend and their arms bend. And their legs bend too, but their legs do not pop off at the joint. So Gulia has on a really cute little outfit and she's definitely the least scary of the ones that we have in our Ghoul's Night Out kit. This is her little outfit and it's removable. And she has on some very high <laughs> red uh, heeled shoes. She also came with what I think is a little cell phone and a red purse. Okay, so there is Gulia Yelps. Next we have Venus McFly Trap. And she is the daughter of the plant monster. And she sort of has a whole plant theme going on with her outfit. I'll show you a little closer, but she has like weeds growing up her arms and a lot of green. So she looks sort of like a scary plant. <laughs> And here she is up close. So if you can see that, I'll try to get that close up. Her ears look like leaves. And then she has like a, looks like a beanstalk or some type of an ivy, that's her earring. And then the side of her head is shaved and she has three little flower earrings on this side. Those are the plants that I was talking about. Sort of like a bracelet. It looks a lot like her earring. She has that on both of her arms. She also has a removable outfit. There's just a piece of Velcro back here. And this belt is also removable. And her skin tone is like a pale green color. She's a little creepy looking, <laughs> but I like her outfit. Her outfit's really cool. And then check out her shoes. She has some black sparkly leg warmers and then her shoes look very plant-like too. It looks like they have ivy growing up them and little, maybe little roses all over them. She's also super movable. Very articulated arms and hands. And same with her legs. Venus McFly Trap. <laughs> and Venus came with a little purse. It looks like it's a rose and then it has the green ivy for the strap. And she also came with one of these little, what I think they're, I think they're cell phones. So you Monster High fans will have to tell me. It looks like they all came with one of these. So I assume it's their telephone, their cell phone, so they can talk to each other. Okay, say goodbye. Bye. Next we have Claudine Wolf. And Claudine is the daughter of the werewolf. Claudine 
Claudine has brown hair with purple streaks in it. And check out her headband. It's got spikes all over it. And then she has ears on the top of her head and those are pierced. So she is definitely an unusual looking doll. She's really cool though. Has very sparkly eyeshadow. And then she's mostly, she mostly has purple and black in her outfit and some gold. long hair. She has the longest hair of all of the Monster High dolls so far. And she has on some purple shoes. She also has a bracelet that has little spikes on it. She came with a purse that is a paw print. And like everyone else, she has her mobile phone. And there is Claudine. And the last doll in our playset, Rochelle Goyle. Rochelle Goyle is the daughter of the gargoyle. Ooh, she's a little creepy. <laughs>